It was way back in the 1980s, a decade that I personally know nothing about, that the US got its first taste of the Honda Civic Si. Actually, this Honda Civic Si. And over the following decades, we got 10 more of them, setting the standard for the affordable, practical sports car. And now we get an opportunity to take our first look at number 11, the 2022 Honda Civic Si. And before we jump in, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Moto1 YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us on social media using the handle at Moto1.com. Funny thing is, Honda told us just about everything we wanted to know when it comes to the new SI's performance, but we actually can't drive this car, at least not yet, but we will get that opportunity in the next few weeks. And when we do, please come back so we will have a full review. But for now, let's pop the hood and see what's up. Oh, thank you. Under the hood, we have the same 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder as before. And now it makes 200 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. Are you blown away? Probably not. And that's because any of you that have this car sitting in the driveway that's a 10th generation know that your car makes a little bit more horsepower. But the good news is I'm not gonna rain on the parade for too long because as we know, horsepower isn't everything, especially when it comes to a car like the SI. And Honda has done quite a bit to make the driving experience that much better. Honda says the power curve is broader and more accessible than before thanks to a new single mass flywheel. Now, of course, less flywheel weight to get up and moving means quicker acceleration and it should work to get rid of some of that nasty rev hang we experienced with the last generation SI. In terms of power, peak torque now arrives 300 RPM earlier and peak output now stretches all the way up to 6,000 RPM, which is again enhanced over the last car. Handling is something that's a little difficult to talk about with the car not moving, but we do know that there are new spring rates that are stiffer front and rear, and Honda says the body is way more rigid than before. But the thing that excites me the most is they went to town on the steering rack, completely revising it, and they say that should drastically change the handling. Spotting a new SI in a crowd shouldn't be too hard, at least if it's painted in this wonderful blazing orange paint, which is exclusive to the model. Look closer and you'll find the fun honeycomb pattern in the grille, just like on the Civic hatch, of course, with the bright SI badge front and center. Here's the real home run for me, 18 inch matte black wheels, again, exclusive to this car. And then around back, there's a cute little spoiler, which the Type R laughs at. Let's hop inside. Enthusiasts rejoice, the Civic Si is still manual only. They actually adjusted it a little bit and this now has 10% shorter throws than before. They also ripped the rev matching function out of the Type R and they put it here. Power still flows to the front wheels via a standard limited slip differential. For a full breakdown on the tech and exciting features on the 2022 Civic, click the little pop-out banner in the corner. But let's take this all in because Honda was not holding back when it comes to the red accent. I think whoever designed the interior on this car probably sat next to the Volkswagen GTI's interior designer in school. There's red everywhere. It's here on the doors, it's here on the dash, and there's this massive section in the seats too. I gotta say it does clash a little bit with the bright orange paint, but it probably looks fantastic if you get the car in black or white. Now, like I mentioned before, we'll be driving the new SI in just a few weeks and the car will go on sale later this year, which is when we'll also find out the pricing information. As always, thanks for watching.